Hey everybody, today I'm going to do a quick little uh, demo on a new plugin. I use um, video editing software called DaVinci Resolve. And every once in a while I find an excellent little plugin to help me with my videos. And this one here, Alex Audio Butler, is one such plugin. So let's get at her and I'll show you this. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. What Alex Audio Butler does is using artificial intelligence automatically mixes your audio for you. So what I've done to uh, demonstrate how this actually works is I've imported a music track here and I've imported a sound effect here and I've set up a third audio track that is going to act as my voice track so that you can see how this all works. So to begin with, let's pull in the music track. And then we're going to pull in a sound effect and we're going to put it right around here somewhere. OK. And then what we're going to do is we're going to listen to it back. So I'm going to stop it there and we are going to cut this audio track right here so that we know we're only dealing with a little clip. This is just to make it easier to uh, demonstrate what's going on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to record a audio track so that you can hear the audio in here as well. So let's go over to Fairlight. I've got my audio track here. I'm going to mute the actual track so that we don't get any echo or anything. And I'm going to arm it for recording. I'm also going to mute these two tracks as well so that we can actually hear everything that's going on. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to record the track. I'm going to pause this for a second while I record that, otherwise we're going to get an echo back. Okay, so we're back now, and as you can see, I recorded the, the actual vocal track. I'm going to play it for you right now, and you're going to hear that you're going to barely be able to hear the vocals. So, believe it or not, I'm actually talking in there. So now what, what we're going to do is we're going to use Alex Audio Butler. And this is where the magic actually happens here. So, the first thing we want to do is we want to add the voice audio butler. So we click on the little plus sign on, on effects, and we go down to Tools, VST, and choose the Alex Voice Audio Butler. And it's coming from a constant source because I recorded my vocal. And we're not going to mess around with the compression. You can if you want to, but I'm not going to. So now the next one we're going to do is track two, which was the sound effects. So we're going to click on there, go to Tools, VST, and choose Alex Sound Effects Audio Butler. And the target volume is high or loud. And auto pucking, I'm going to make it subtle, okay? So what's going to happen here is that the sound effect will literally drop out when I'm talking. So now, the next one we're going to do is we're going to do the audio track. So we're, once again, we just click on the effects, go down to Tools, VST, and choose Music Audio Butler. In this case, I'm going to set it to Soft with medium auto pucking. So what the auto pucking means is that it goes up and down as somebody speaks. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to put the actual master on and in DaVinci Resolve they call it bus one. So we're going to go down to tools, same thing, click on effects, go to tools, VST, and choose the Alex Master audio butler. So compression and everything, we're just going to leave it on default. And now we're going to play it a couple of times because when you play it, it actually learns. So here we go. 
Good, so as you can see, this is recording right now. I recorded over the soundtrack, over the sound effects, and we are done now. So if you notice up at the top here, you've got this little icon with the robot head, and it was saying updating and updated the analysis and so on and so forth. So if we bring it back now and listen to the whole thing, this is what it's going to sound like. Okay, so as you can see, this is recording right now. I recorded over the soundtrack, over the sound effects, and we are done now. So, I hope you can see how the Alex Audio Butler actually works. It automatically mixed everything without us needing to do anything at all. Now, there was a little bit of noise on, on the audio track because it boosted it up and my microphone was picking up noise. So, as an added bonus, I'm going to actually show you another set of plugins that I use called Era 5. And... This is actually really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on here. I'm going to go to Noise Reduction, VST, and I'm going to choose the Era 5 Audio Cleanup Assistant. So when I click that, it comes up. I'm simply going to go down here, and I'm going to choose VoiceOver Cleanup. And I have to do nothing else. Now listen to what this sounds like. You will not hear any noise whatsoever out of it. Good. So as you can see, this is recording right now. I recorded over the soundtrack, over the sound effects, and we are done now. As you can hear, the noise disappeared. As soon as it learned about everything, the noise actually disappeared. You might get a little bit at the beginning, but you usually just clip it out. So let's listen one more time. Good. So as you can see, this is recording right now. I recorded over the soundtrack, over the sound effects, and we are done now. So there you go. With the combination of Alex Audio Butler and Era 5, you can see that you can clean up almost anything. In this case, we didn't even need to clip off the beginning of the track because the noise just disappeared. So I hope you've enjoyed this little demo of Alex Audio Butler and the bonus of Era 5. And I will talk to you in the next video.